Today with me is a GT86. This is a car that I've been in once. It's a bit of a strange experience, which is why I wanted to get it on the channel. The GT86 has a two litre boxer engine, which is naturally aspirated, which is why a lot of people see them as being quite slow. We're here today to see if it is, and if it can make up for it elsewhere. Just go and drive it. We always stand here talking about it, trying to think of things to say without actually driving it. So I think should we just should we drive it? Let's do it. Stop! Have you checked its history? No. Pass me your phone. Follow this link. Oh, thanks, mate. Are you taking it to a website called Car Vertical where you can perform a full history check on any vehicle? All you need is the reg or the VIN number. Then after a small fee, you will receive a full breakdown on service history, mileage rollbacks, damage reports and more. For example, check out this Audi Allroad. You can see the extent of the damage done on the driver's side wing as well as the repairs after. It's had no mileage rollbacks, but it has been exported. Keep that in mind for when settling for the price. And it's comforting to know the previous history of the car. So follow the link in the description to receive a discount on your next car check. It's a win-win situation. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so we're in the GT86 with you. So how long have you owned this car for? So I have owned this car for three months now. And what's been done? Uh, to be honest, this is completely stock. It's a completely stock example. Yeah. Um, had come at the factory, created the tyres a little bit. Other than that, going stock. speaker with like the modern cars not with the speaker no it's just a little pipe running in if you put an exhaust on one of these just sort of cat back system they they're quite loud i mean even if you get non-resonate systems they can be quite loud yeah um but like i said a lot of people opt to go with like unequal length or equal length like headers for that boxer rumble yeah yeah um and it gets rid of that torque dip sort of under four yeah which makes it a lot more sort of uh peppy to sort of pick up yeah it's an a car at the end of the day yeah Like this, tend not to 
think about the tyres too much. Do you know what? I think that's why I've not ever owned a real drive car because I know I've been doing that out of every corner. <laughs> GTA 6. First time ever driving one. So at the moment, I haven't got traction off, I haven't got stability off or anything like that. There's options to change it, which I'll give, give it a go in the future. But for now, I just need to kind of get used to the car. I was shitting myself, I don't know about you. It was terrifying. <laughs> well, why? Well, like, I don't know how these other YouTubers, like, officially gassed, do it. They got balls to be in a passenger seat like that. Let's see what it's got. So, at the moment it feels okay, it feels just like, yeah, like easy to, easy to drive, which is good. Some cars you get in them and you're like, what is going on, it's like a completely different machine, but this feels relatable. Looking for an exciting daily, I think the GT86 is the way to go. It's easy enough to drive, very well balanced with everything that it does, and it doesn't try to be something that it's not. It has a lot more to offer than I think people say it does. A fun car, you know, it doesn't have crazy power, so it's controllable and it just it will work with you. I would say this is like the modern day MX5. It's a good starting point, and if you want to do more to it, then there's loads of parts you can take. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, big thanks to Eunice as well. I'll drop you still on Instagram. I'll drop his Instagram down in the video uh, if you want to check him out. Hopefully, see you guys in the next one. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you later.